Thank you, Jesus. Our hearts should well up with such gratitude to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords that every day you get up in the morning and you thank God. You thank God that he sent Jesus Christ to die for you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Let me tell you something. A grateful heart knows no need. A grateful heart he showed me that years ago. Joanne, if you'll just be grateful, you'll never know any need. Just keep saying, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. Thank you, Lord, for making me whole. Thank you, Lord, for giving to me thy great salvation, so rich and free. Amen. Are you free today? Amen. Are you free? If you're free, thank the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And I don't want you to ever go back in bondage to anything ever again. Don't you ever believe the enemy. Jesus came to set you free. And if the Son shall set you free, you shall be free indeed. Start believing everything God said. I will not believe you, devil. So leave me alone and stop talking. I do that all the time. And you don't believe a word he says. Oh, you're no good today. You yelled at that kid. Oh, okay. But I love him. And that's all God wants. Uh, what does God look at? What does God see? He sees you. Isn't that good? He, the people see everything else. But God only sees your heart. To me, that's amazing. Because he knows my heart. He knows my heart. He knows I make mistakes. He knows I don't do everything right. But that doesn't even matter to God. It does not even matter. I'm telling you. He wants us to do everything right. He doesn't want us to blatantly sin ever. But we all make mistakes. And he said, that's why I put erasers on pencils. <laughs> and we all do make mistakes. But don't you dare let the enemy say anything to you. Oh, you did that. Now you're never going to make it. You're this, you're that. You're a liar. Amen. I'm the daughter of a king. Yes. And he loves me. Yes. And he died for me. Yes. And he's coming back to get me one day. Amen. And all this will be over. But in the meantime, we want to be found faithful. That's the whole thing. We want to be found faithful. Faithful to God. And that's not hard if you follow the directions. <laughs> that's easy. That is easy. But you can't go without following all these directions. Now, let's see. That afternoon, the whole earth was covered with darkness for three hours from noon until three o'clock. About three o'clock, Jesus shouted, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Some of the bystanders misunderstood and thought he was calling for Elijah. One of them ran and filled a sponge with sour wine and put it on a stick and held it up to him to drink. But the rest said, leave him alone. Let's see whether Elijah will come and save him. Then Jesus shouted out again, dismissed his spirit, and died. And look, the curtain secluding the holiest place in the temple was split apart from top to bottom. And the earth shook and rocks broke. And tombs opened and many godly men and women who had died came back to life again. After Jesus' resurrection, they left the cemetery and went to Jerusalem and appeared to many people there. The soldiers at the crucifixion and their sergeant were terribly frightened by the earthquake and all that happened. And they exclaimed, surely this was the Son of God. Amen. Hallelujah. 